Hello, my name is Mr. Beck, and uh, this tutorial is going to deal with cloth simulation. We're going to create a flag. We're going to use some UV textures to do that. This first lesson, all we do is we set up the basic structure. We're going to set up a basic flagpole, uh, and then in the next lesson, we'll uh, UV texture it, and we'll go on to actually uh, use the cloth simulation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this square, and we're just going to make a base out of it. So I'm going to hit S. And then I'm going to hit Z, and I'm going to scale it down. And then I'm just going to hit S. I'm going to make it larger. And I'm going to hit S and Z again just to make it a little bit thinner. Okay, so this is our base. Uh, now I'm going to add a cylinder to the center of this base. I'm going to go Add Mesh, and then Cylinder. And I'm going to hit S, and I'm going to scale it. I'm going to hit Z, S, Z, and I'm going to scale it along the Z axis. And then I'm going to hit S, and I'm just going to shrink it down again, make it small. And then I'm going to hit S, and then Z, and I'm going to make it stretch it out again so we've got a nice flagpole. Um, now I'm going to hit G for grab, and I'm going to hit Z to pull it along the Z axis. And I'm just going to pull it up. I'm going to set it down there so we've got a base and a flagpole. Uh, the last step in this short tutorial is just adding the piece that will become the flag. So. Down at the bottom, uh, I'm going to go ahead down here and let's just look at the object section. The nice thing about Blender 2.6, I think, is they tend to give you all of your options. They're, you know, shortcuts are a big part of using Blender, but uh, 2.6, they've made it pretty easy to find what you need. So I'm going to click Object, Snap, and then I'm going to choose Cursor to Selected. And that's going to take our red cursor and it's going to snap it to our flagpole. And I'm going to go Add Mesh and then plain. Okay, um, let's go ahead and uh, pull this up. So I'm going to hit G and then Z. And I'm going to move it up towards the top. And then we're going to use our rotate tool down here at the very bottom. We've got this arrow and then you've got this little curved icon here. Okay, it's the rotate manipulator. If I click on that, all right, it's going to allow me now to rotate. Oh, I'm going to hit period on the number pad to zoom in on the selected object. That's period on the number pad. That's a good one to know. Um, and I'm going to use the rotate manipulator now to rotate this. You know, so it's approximately um, flush with our flagpole there. That's one way to rotate an object. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to hit, I'm, I'm going to come back down, I'm going to grab the arrow this time. And instead of using the G shortcut, I'm just going to grab the green arrow. I'm going to slide it over and I'm going to grab the blue arrow. I'm going to slide it down. All right. So at the end of this tutorial, we should just have a basic structure that looks like this. And uh, we'll be working with it more. We'll be creating our cloth simulation in the, uh, in the next set. So uh, look for a link to part two in the show notes.